Give an old set of dining room chairs a new life. Nothing dates a dining room faster than old, worn out chairs. Luckily, with the right materials, reupholstering dated dining room chairs is the perfect remedy and, sometimes painting the chairs is also a good way to update it. Anything that has been upholstered can be reupholstered. Your chair may simply need recovering if the fabric is worn but may need reupholstering if the filling is compressed and has lost its resilience or if the seat is sagging or the webbing is ripped. Reupholstering a fixed seat takes a higher level of skill than reupholstering a drop-in cushion, as the staples or tacks used to attach the fabric will need to be concealed with something such as gimp or welting. A drop-in seat can be as simple as stretching and stapling fabric around the bottom of a piece of wood. But before you do a drop-in seat, I suggest if you need to paint the chairs, do that first. Have the right materials handy for the job. The right materials for reupholstering your dining room chairs will depend on the type of seats you have. Most fixed seats are built using webbing, burlap, stuffing such as foam, and batting made of cotton or dacron, as well as muslin and fabric. For drop-in seating, you shouldn't need much more than foam and fabric. When it comes to picking the best fabric to use to reupholster your dining room chairs, I suggest sticking with ones that can withstand plenty of wear and tear, so they'll look newer for longer. Synthetic fabrics that resist liquids and staining are always a good choice. Performance fabrics, such as Sunbrella, are very durable, as are ultrasuede or other microfiber fabrics, and vinyl or leather. Once you have all your materials handy, it's time to remove the old fabric from the dining chairs. You can purchase a staple puller to help remove the old fabric more quickly, but in a pinch, a flat screwdriver, and some pliers will do. After you've removed the old upholstery, I recommend preparing the new fabric for installation. The rule of thumb when cutting dining room chair fabric is to measure the length and width of the seat plus 3 inches of excess all around. Drape the new fabric over to the underside of the seat, trace the edge of the seat and cut, fold under approximately 1 inch, depending upon the width of the frame, and staple in place, saving the corners for last, which can be folded into a simple hospital corner for a tidy look. All you need to attach the new fabric to a dining room chair frame is a staple gun. Start by stapling fabric to the frame if it's a fixed cushion, or on the underside of the seat if it's a drop-in cushion, at the center point of each side, and then working out from there to the corners, pulling fabric tautly around the frame. Pull the fabric snugly around curved corners to eliminate tucks on the top side of the cushion. How to paint upholstery? Yes, you can paint the upholstery on your chairs. Determine if your piece is suitable for painting, and choosing the right materials. Smooth cotton or poly blends are the most suitable type of fabrics when it comes to painting upholstery. 
I highly recommend practicing on a piece of fabric very similar to or the same as your piece, maybe a matching pillow, a swatch, etc., first. Fabrics with a lot of texture such as velvet or thick woven fabrics are much more challenging to paint over. It is super important to do a test on a scrap piece that is same or similar, try using a liquid dye on the fabric instead of paint, or consider slipcover instead. Vacuum the nooks and crannies. Wipe off any dust on the surface of the fabric. Spot clean stains so they don't dissolve in the paint and discolor the area. Just do the best you can, no need to be perfect. Tape the legs and any parts you want to protect from the paint. Spray water on your fabric chair or sofa until the fabric is damp. This will help the first coat of paint to soak into the fabric. You can use a spray bottle or a paint sprayer. While the fabric is still damp, apply the first coat of paint. One of the keys to keeping the fabric soft is to use diluted paint and paint multiple coats. After doing some tests on scrap fabric similar to the fabric on our chair. If you are using different paint, dilute the paint to a consistency similar to crepe or pancake batter. Use a brush or a paint sprayer to apply the first coat of paint while the fabric is still damp. If you are using a sprayer, make sure to wear a respirator mask and work in a well-ventilated place. Use a spray shelter or draperies to contain the fine mist slash paint particles. Use a paint brush to reach the areas where the fabric folds. After applying the first coat of paint, take a piece of rag or sponge and rub the painted surface to help the paint soak into the fabric. You only have to do this for the first coat. Let the first coat dry. You might think your piece is looking awful right now. Don't panic. It will look significantly better with each coat of paint. Take a piece of 320 grit to 400 grit extra fine sandpaper and sand the painted areas. Sanding between each coat with extra fine sandpaper is another key to keeping the fabric soft to the touch. You will notice such a big difference. The fabric will feel like synthetic leather instead of dry paint. Apply the second coat of paint. Let dry. Sand the painted areas. Repeat this process with more layers of paint until you are happy with the result. Wait for the paint to dry between layers. What a difference it makes!